Hello and welcome. This is Linda IKG TV. My name is Tokwe Olonio and yes, we have Beyonce in the house. I'm sure you'll be wondering who is that. Yes, Beyonce is the second housemaid that got evicted from the Big Brother Nigeria season two. Beyonce! Hello everyone. <laughs> it's such a pleasure to have you here, I must say. Pleasure Finally, you know, it's, it's a different <laughs> feeling. Seeing you here, than seeing you on TV. What's the difference? It's, it's like, I've known you because I've watched you for two weeks, so I just feel like, so you've seen I my, know you've you seen now. It's, it's me. It's Beyonce. Did you That's, see me but Nick? That was what I was going to say. <laughs> Please, let's get to meet Beyonce for the benefits of people who don't know Beyonce. <laughs> so you watched me so much. Tell me, what did you see? Okay, I saw a chef. Like, I'm sure before we got here, I've been telling you about that cooking. Like, you <laughs> you have to cook for me for Gary. No, but it's not about me today. It's about you. So okay. tell us, Mionte. Yeah. Tell us about you before Big Brother. Tell us about you. Um, I was just a regular guy, you know, <laughs> working, you know, uh, working all day. Um, I was the head chef of the Italian restaurant in Abuja. Okay. You know, um, also a part-time culinary instructor at Reddish Chronicles. Um, Why is that? It's, it's, it has the branches in Lagos and Abuja. Oh, okay. So I did that also, you know, so um, really up until Big Brother Africa, my life wasn't so interesting, you know. Mm -hmm. Although I had um, friends, you know, but work was just all that was on my mind. I was, you know, I just wanted to work, you know, and place myself at the pedestal where I can leverage on, you know, getting a better job or, oh, okay. you know, you know, moving higher in my career. And As Big Brother just, just came, came along, you know. But why Big Brother? I was encouraged. Actually, yeah, uh, this is probably the first time I'm going to see this. They locked me out of the restaurant, my chefs. Wow. They said, I have to go for the audition. Are you serious? And I was like, I don't know. I don't think I have what it takes, you know. They were like, go, go. You just have, you, you are, you are, you are interesting, go. And I went that day, not having any expectations in mind, you know, but when I passed, when I went through the first stage and I was like, okay, you know what, I think I have a chance. I went through the second stage, third stage, you know, I got, I got a call that you're in the Big Brother house. I was like, whoa. You know, <laughs> How did that make you feel? How did that make you feel? Excited, you know. Could you sleep that night? Yes, I did. Oh, okay. Oh, it okay. happened that my, my, my father passed on at that period in time. So. Oh, wow. After you got told that you're going to be in the Big Brother house, I'm sure you sat down to say, okay, Beyonce, I have to come up with a plan. I have to come up with my game plan or a strategy. Yes, um, like I said in previous interviews, um, I really didn't have any game plan. And, um, you know, uh, Big Brother, people might think that was dumb, but really, the audience see fake from real, you know. Just go in there and be real. Do you leave the rest of the viewers? Try and charm them. Make them. Make them. Show them that you know you're the real deal. And that is what I went to do. I had no strategy of you know maybe I push this one fight. Maybe if he fights against this, you know I have a chance. You know I went there. I did me. You know and I I'm currently out. The strategy might not have worked. You know for me. So that but, was the strategy. Yes, to do me. To do you. Yes. But what you you said some people may say that was dumb. What exactly was? Dumb? Um, people might be like, why did you not scheme more? You know, some people scheme more, but. I decided not to scheme, you know. First of all, if you have the love of the viewers, if at any point in time you leave, you might be popular than even the winner eventually. So is it safe to say that you feel you didn't have the love of the viewers? Um, I don't think so. I wouldn't say I did not have the love of the viewers because <laughs> ever since I got from the airport, you know, <laughs> it's like they've been mobbing me like. <laughs> <laughs> and how does that make you feel? Wow. Um, it's wonderful. Like, I just look about look back at my life. Like three weeks ago, I was just a regular guy, and now people want to take pictures. pictures people yeah. actually know my name, and I'm like, okay, you know. Sometimes it's a lot to take in. Sometimes, you know, but I'm but have trying you, to. Ever since you got out, yeah. have, do you feel you've come to the realization like, I am out of the house? Uh, no. Sometimes I watch the show and I'm like, really. Why am I not still on this show? Sure. You, because sometimes I, I'm looking at it like I shouldn't have gone out this early because I, I, I was, I, I, until I came out, I did not know how interesting I was. I did not know how 
spoken of. I was like, no, I did. I had no idea. I thought, I, actually, I was even. I thought I was born. Oh really? I thought I was born. So the, let's say it's safe to say that the show made you explore another side of you. Yes. You got to yes. see yourself from another light. Yes. And do I you honestly. like this? Do you like this Beyonce? I like this more confident Beyonce. Oh, so you the show has oh, made you more. Confident. I I I was I studied mass com yeah, but I was okay. shy of cameras. So Big Brother unleashed me, man. I I don't know who I can talk to right now. Oh, so we're going to be seeing this Beyonce <laughs> yes. and goodbye to the old Beyonce. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, so the um, while you were in the house. Pictures got out of you and T-Boss knowing each other before the house. So how long during the you... audition process? Oh, it was during the audition. You didn't yes. know her. Um, before. I knew her during the audition process. I met her during the audition process. Oh, okay. So how was the attraction? That was that was that was what bonded us initially. You know, we knew each other. We had already developed a bond outside the house. Coming into the house, it was you know, let's just be friends in the house. You know, we got each other's back. You know. Okay, and then there were comments trending on Twitter yeah. of people feeling like you were letting yourself go for t -Bus. I wasn't letting myself go for t -Bus. Um When I ever thought of a strategy was when I was nominated. The first time? Oh, the second sorry, the time. second time. Then I knew, you know what, uh, I need to do something now. Okay. You know, then I looked at it. Who, who was the most attractive girl in the house? She was, it was t -Bus. Okay. Now, the probability of t having a higher fan base than other girls was high. Okay. So I decided, okay, let me, uh, let me be with t -Bus. Irrespective of the fact that we had the connection, we were friends, you know. Let's, let me be with t -Bus. t -Bus is my friend, you okay. know. She would understand what I'm trying to do here, <laughs> you know. So... Uh, I was around t -Bus, you know, just so viewers can, you know, say, oh, okay, let's see where this love story ends. So we know. can say, we can outrightly say you used t -Bus. I wouldn't, I wouldn't <laughs> categorically state that but because at her. some point in time I told her that t -Bus, you know what, I need these votes, please help me out here, yeah. you know, and I played the fool for love, you know, just so everyone sees, oh, who's the love? Oh, you boy. played it, you didn't love her. Or is that so strong a word? <laughs> <clears throat> we have a very good connection. You know, you, you've been re-emphasizing this connection, connection. Yes, we have. We have. We have. We. We. we I. I understand. Quite in. I. I understand. Uh, to a, to a certain extent. To a certain extent, where you say what you guys share is not what you share with a random person. Obviously, because we there was this connection before then. Okay, so when you got to find out that T Boss nominated you. Mm. And you were trying to to get her likes. How did that make you feel? Apart from being disappointed, as you said. Um, I've said this, and I'll say it, and I'll say it, <laughs> say it another one million times. I was disappointed, but not surprised. Disa it is a game, you know. I I might have just, you know, we are all humans here. Yeah. It's it would be shocking, but I was. I was just disappointed. I wasn't surprised that she nominated me. We are playing a game. Okay. The third week, I could have nominated, I mean, really? could have nominated, nominated yeah. her also. So. But it's possible that if you got to be in the third week, you may have got a likeness for someone else because it was kind of like going around. <laughs> <laughs> it was kind of going around. Please, who, who did you start with? Sorry? No, I don't mean with you exactly. <laughs> like the likeness, if, if you watched, oh, well, you didn't watch the show. Everybody was friends with everybody. So mm. you, as you just said, yeah. that you realized that you needed like, you needed votes, you needed likes, yeah. and Tibos was the hottest girl. Yeah. So you leaned towards Tibos. Yeah. You may just have found out in the third week. Oh, okay, maybe I need to lean towards someone else. Don't you think that could have possibly happened? Um, if at all, I might have leaned towards someone else. Yeah. yeah. Um, Tibos will still, Tibos will, be, will still be Tibos. She will still be my friend. You know, in okay. the house. You know. But we're still playing a game here. Yeah. We can't forget that, you know. She, I, I see people and whenever I read, uh, I read their comments, I laugh. They said she played that game well. She played no game. She was pissed off at, that was me, a, that at was that point in time. That was why okay. she nominated me. So um, having that knowledge, I won't really be so mad at her. Okay, but there was, there was this day she was pissed off. It was after the, after the party where DJ Exclusive came. Yeah, okay. The first, the next day, she okay. was kind of pissed off about what 
we didn't get to find out. But then you followed her to the garden, mm. and then she said you were annoying. Do you remember? Mm. And you, you persisted. That wasn't just a connection persistence. Mm. She has called me annoying so many no, times. That one was. She has called me different names so many times. I can't. I How can't... come you always took it with a pinch of salt? When did you um, ever react? Naturally, I'm. I guess um, that is how I treat ladies in okay. real life. You know, um, it's. It, I don't like to get the ladies angry with me. Okay. You know? So probably that was what I thought about, you know. Um, I felt like if she had a problem with me, I needed to, I, I, she, I, I need to know what, what really happened. Okay. So, okay, um, when you were evicted, when you got on stage with uh, Ibuka, you said the connection you guys share is beyond Big Brother. Yes. Pre-existing relation before the house. <laughs> for during the audition. Yes. Yes. The space during the audition and the house. There was, you know, there's, there there's a gap. relationship. Yeah. So we, 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 we interacted. So we can say that you may be hopeful for her coming out and something going on. Or this connection in she quotes. She is my friend. So we're, going to, we're still maintaining the fact that she is your friend. Yes. She oh. is my friend. Okay. So there was this truth or dare segment. That, <laughs> that took place. And then, you know, Big Brother cameras have a way of catching some kind of <coughs> expressions that are really deep. And when Bali was dead to, to smooch the, uh, the boss's boobies, yeah. there was this expression you gave. You have to tell us what went through your mind. Um, actually, it was all for cameras, man. It was all for cameras? Yeah. So you were not being yourself as entirely as you said you were? Um, you know, um, let me... It was... When it got to nomination process, yeah. um, the, my nomination week, sometimes I was myself, sometimes I wasn't myself, you know. Uh, you don't want to be in the house and be up for nomination. Then yeah. all sort of, you just begin to behave erratic. Oh, okay. Yeah. And then when it was your turn and they, they told you to kiss Gifty, you just took the drink. Wow. With Gifty, I, there was, you know, in the first place, to start with, why she ever nominated me was because she saw that I was getting close to Gifty. And she did not like the fact that I was getting too close to Gifty. Okay, so... She, she even told me, she, she was like, everyone else has sides Gifty. And I was like, what problem do you have with Gifty? But when a girl gets like that, what do you think? You know, uh, I guess she was, I don't know. I don't know what happened. You're forcing me to say what I don't say. <laughs> I'm not forcing you. I'm just asking questions. <laughs> You're trying to put words in my mouth, you <laughs> At know. all, at all. You I'm know. just trying uh, to understand. But, you know, <laughs> what can I say? When she said that, you know, I knew there was, there was, there was a problem. So you know. kind of put her into consideration in whatever you were doing. Yes, when it came, it, when, when it, 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 it involved Gifty. When it involved Gifty? Yes. So you didn't have your personal reservations for Gifty? No, I and Gifty were cool. In fact, I had the... First, I, had, I, I bonded first with Gifty. Oh, but because of T-Boss, you didn't kiss Gifty? Um, I kissed Gifty. No, at that point, because <laughs> you should watch how you just kissed Eventually Gifty. that day, that day I kissed Gifty. Yeah, but at the point where this asked you to kiss Gifty, you just took the drink. You know, you, 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 she, also, but, she also did something when they told, um, um, I think Bali or Soma or someone, yeah. to take off her on these with... She, she said she was on her period. And she whispered to me, she was like, she wasn't on her period. Yeah, so that was, so it's safe to so, say that T-Boss has something for you. Well, when she comes out, she'll explain herself. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, so do you think she was pretending, like, now that you're out of the house? Mm. Do you think, like, all do that think, was a pretense? I have trust issues. I don't know. You can tell me now that I'm cute and I'll look at you and be like, okay. Oh, so you have you don't you didn't trust her all the while. Not I did. <laughs> you said you don't, don't trust her. No, 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 no. <laughs> don't don't manipulate my words here. <laughs> I say you can tell me now okay. that I'm cute, and I wonder if you're telling me the truth. Well, that's right now. I have trust issues, so I don't think I'm capable of answering that question. If I think she was being real or being fake. Okay, so tell us your thoughts on the housemates up for eviction now. Wow. <laughs> Baby is coming. <laughs>
That's all I can say. <laughs> okay, so do you have anyone you're routing for? No. Any, no one? Even Tibo? I believe um, there are 12 amazing candidates in there, you know. Everyone has the right to that money, you know. Even, uh, you know, I don't mind if Biggie brings me back, you know. Okay, well, that's, that's, that's one hell of a thought. <laughs> Biggie, that would just be a whole different twist. And you go <laughs> back and tell them how amazing it's been out there. And then maybe like they, they should go back up. <laughs> oh, okay. gosh. You don't know what controversy I'll cause when I go back. Hmm, okay, but tell us your plans now. Because I'm sure you hoped to stay there till the end. You hoped to get the money, start something big. Tell us your plans for if you won. If I won? Yes. I would rather tell you my plans right now. I would like to know the dreams you had. It's because that dream is still intact. Oh, okay. With the help of Heritage Bank, um, DSTV, Multi-Choice Mnet, Payport. Yeah. These dreams are still alive and kicking. Like, I'm like, wow. Like, so what's the difference between me winning this money and, and me leaving this house right now? Okay. Like, <laughs> I, I, there are some cooking shows I would love to do. Okay. Um, which it's in motion already. You know, I spoke with some people and they're ready to back me. You know, okay. I'm going to leverage on, on this to, um, you know, there there will be some brands come no, come that will come knocking. You know, oh, I would I would be interested in you know the endorsements of especially food and beverage. You know, okay. and telecoms. You know, then um, I've done a couple of interviews and people are like. You have this Nollywood thing about you, you know. <laughs> I don't mind, you know. Oh, that's you're looking to explore the the movie part, the creative yes. part of you, and of yes. course build yourself as a chef. Yes. Oh, okay. So now your girlfriend. Okay. <laughs> so you had a girlfriend before you went into the house. Uh, as much as you say there was a connection with T boss, even with the passionate kisses that went on, it was just a connection. What's your girlfriend thinking about? No passionate kisses, yeah. They were just... They were just kisses. Lip locks. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. You just lip locked T-Boss. I just lip locked her, you know. And sometimes, you know, I wasn't the one initiating it all the time. She wanted to, you know, try it out. So. Yeah, she felt you were that hot. I she... have to kiss me on say again. No, no, no. And again. It wasn't like that, you know. It was just, just friendly lip lock. Oh, so we now have friendly kisses. Yes, I could come here and kiss you right now no, because I, I feel like we're having this connection this. already, but I won't do that because we're on TV. You know? uh, okay. Oh, I could just say. Oh. oh, okay. No, now that's a, that's an open friendly that's an open friendly kiss. So, but if you would like to refer to T Boss's own as friendly lip locks, what did your girlfriend have to think about that? Um, she had no issue with that because um, <clears throat> she knew it was a game. And things could, things could happen, you know. But she's a very understanding person. This is not camera talk. This is for reals. Why do you think this camera? I'm just asking. She's a very understanding person. She's, um, she's, uh, she was very blunt, you know. She was like, why didn't I not just go all out for it? By all out, what did she mean? I don't know. <laughs> you didn't ask her. her. Oh, I would love to ask her what's her name. <laughs> what's her number? I'll call her already. <laughs> Never. <laughs> <laughs> I wish you all the best in Thank your you endeavors. And I hope we get to have you here again to tell us about your show when you yeah. bring it to life. Thank it's you. been an amazing time. Thank and you. make sure you enjoy the paparazzi and make sure you stretch it as much <laughs> as you can. Well, it's a wrap on our interview here with Beyonce. My name is Tokwa Olonio and this is Linda Ikeji TV.